Welcome back to Market Matters. I'm Nadia Hassan together with Jonathan Gunn and we're looking at Stocks with Momentum brought to you by The Edge Research. So Stocks with Momentum basically means that there's an algorithm applied. It looks at the track of the stock and whether it will go up and down. Today we have an oldie but I suppose a goodie, Lee Hen, but they think it's going to be negative momentum. They think the stock, which actually went up about 0.82% today to 615, is oversold on the way down. Well, uh, I'm looking at Lee Hen, and I think the prospects for the company remain very bright. Uh, four days ago, its earnings were just announced, and we see a doubling of its net profit to 12.6 million ringgit. And uh, basically, the reasons behind this increase is also very compelling because we see that uh, the strengthening of the US dollar against the ringgit has definitely helped the company's exports. Yeah, so that's why the numbers were so good. But the thing is, why um, I suppose in Edge Research thinks it's gone up quite so much is because it's been on this bandwagon, right? You've seen a lot of bandwagoning with a lot of these guys who actually, the furniture guys, the wood guys, Signature, for example, although their share price went down quite a lot. They all have been following on this trend. So does this really reflect the valuations? I looked at the company. Yes, it has some pretty decent, uh, has some pretty decent earnings. They have a, a lot of aspirations. But you have to remember something, John. These kinds of things, exchange rates things, uh, it can change just like that. Well, change just like that or not, but looking at the consensus and the, the way things are going at the moment, Ringgit is just continuing to be weakening. And uh, I, I think what, what really changed my mind about furniture stocks was the US economic recovery. We see the US GDP figures coming at 3.7%. So these are, these are strong things. And, yeah, uh, I, 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 come on. You know, it can change. You can't just hinge it on that. There has to be internal change as well that makes me happy. I, well, the, the company, of course, derives 76% of its revenue uh, from the, the US uh, contributed dollar receipts. And I think uh, moving forward, it, it is going to continue to benefit from this as the US economy is convincing now. Well, we'll see how that actually kind of goes. But thanks a lot for that. Uh, coming up next, we're looking at our broker's call today, which is uh, GRB Highcom with Charlotte Chung. Stay tuned.